Well, we've got a spring career fair coming up next week. It's on Tuesday, May 7th. And to tell us more about it from Ohio Means Jobs, he's the business services manager, Josh Luke. And thanks for coming today. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so this is the springtime career fair. So tell us about that. Who you want to come and, and what the goals are of the people. Yeah, so this is the third time that we've done this. So it's our third annual spring career fair focused on Allen County employment opportunities. This has always kind of been a student centric event. Okay. So all of the Allen County high schools um, have historically brought their seniors. This year we actually have over 700 soon to graduate seniors that are going to be coming through the event during the four hours. Uh, but it's also open to the local college students as well as uh, public job seekers by invitation only that are currently working with our career consultants. Okay, so these are high school students. So do they, well, 700 of them, I don't know. They must be some on their way to college maybe and some have already got, you know, gone through programs like through Apollo and their tech schools. Yes, absolutely, and they're all across the board on what they're doing and what they're looking for. So the great thing about the Spring Career Fair is every industry really is represented, whether you're okay. looking at food service, healthcare, manufacturing, construction and tr uh, skilled trades, education, business, everybody's there. And they have a variety of opportunities. So if students are looking for maybe that part-time summer job, seasonal job, looking for a job shadowing opportunity or perhaps an internship or even just regular part-time, full-time employment, there's so many different opportunities that are available, not just to students, but to everybody that's in attendance. So it's a really good time to come on out and even network. If it's a student that's okay. going away to college and not directly entering the workforce, making those connections now is really important because if you're going to come home over the summer or something, you've built those um, connections and then you can reach out for an internship and so forth. All right. So how should the student be prepared? I mean, do they need a resume? Do you need to dress nice? I mean, what are they expected at this career fair? Definitely. We always encourage their best when you talk about dressing for success. <laughs> uh, but they're all working with our high school job coaches that are at okay. all of the Allen County High Schools. So they've prepped them for this. They've been having those conversations. Uh, they are bringing resumes with them, or they've already worked out the arrangement with their high school job coach to have those resumes ready and available for them. Right. But yes, all the schools are definitely encouraging their students to dress their best for the day you want to make that good impression right yeah because there's the possibility i suppose you could probably land the job or at least that second interview or something while you're at this career fair historically yes there's been a lot of opportunity and employers that have hired on the spot at the career fair there's opportunities for them to break out and do on-spot interviews as well but yes it's a great example of coming prepared practicing your elevator pitch how yeah, can you really. sell yourself in a busy <laughs> environment in a very mm -hmm. short amount of time making that connection but yes they can actually secure a lot of really good opportunities that day which is awesome you said it's the third year so what have the employers found I, I assume that they're they're kind of excited about this kind of event because in the past they've been able to fill some spots definitely they have um, and we've had historically a lot of employers that really have attended from the first year they're back here for their third year now so it's become a very popular event we're very fortunate uh, that the registration process goes very smooth and very quickly but yeah all those employers love coming to this event it's the largest career fair in the area um, we've got really good reviews and ratings on it but it's a good time to come in out uh, to come on out and meet the individuals that are getting ready to be that next wave of the workforce locally right, yeah. make those connections have those conversations it's a really important event for them and I assume even the college students it's a good opportunity for them you know we were talking about high school mm -hmm. students a lot but graduating from college or you need an internship or something this would be a good opportunity that's really the perfect and ideal opportunity really more or less uh, most colleges and depending on the program whatever it is that they're doing they're going to require some type of a job shadowing and or internship component but being able to come on out to the career fair and make that connection and secure those opportunities especially with graduate right around the corner yeah. that's really key all right all right so it is uh, next Tuesday already 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at UNOH Event Center right yep that's where we'll be we're really looking forward to it all right sounds like a big event thanks Josh for coming today thank you so much all right don't go away new edition continues in a moment